Ooh, yeah. Look at how it melted into my skin. What? Wait, it doesn't even exist. Hold on. <gasps> It looks like nothing in the inner part of my face. I have lighter spots. We all, wait, we all have that, okay? It's called a normal face. It's gonna be a look of whatever, okay? This is looking very juices and berries. What? What up, Agwan? It's just saying it's your girl, Manadibia. And in this video, we are going to be doing a no makeup makeup look that I haven't done for, I feel, a very long time. I don't know. Comment and let me know if, you, if I've done one recently. I don't know, but we are gonna do one for this summer 2022 and beyond. Of course, this makeup look can apply now and forevermore. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you're not, make sure you also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok because when I'm not here, I am always there. This video is sponsored by Sephora, so shout out to Sephora for sponsoring this video. I'm also gonna leave all the links to products that I use down below. The two products that I really wanna feature in this video are gonna be one, the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint, and then second, the Fenty Beauty Pouticle Hydrating Lip Stain. Now, we already know that last year, according to last year, my Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint shade was 20. But it's a whole new year, whole new time of life. So I have two in front of me. One is 21, one is 23. I feel like it'll be 23 for me right now. I was 22 last summer. But stuff be changing, you feel what I'm saying? So just like I've told you in the past, make sure you have your summer shade, you have your winter shade. Let's see if 23, it looks dark. But you know, the bottle, you can't always go by that, girl. So let's go ahead and do this. If you're still using your Fenty Skin Tint, I want you to come and let me know because we, we remember that this was definitely a good one. And even though it's a skin tint, it has really great coverage. Let's go through it again, okay? All right, so always give your product a good shake. And then I'm gonna squeeze some of the back of my hand. Ooh. It is looking nice and neutral. I am going to use this Fenty Beauty foundation brush. It's 110 foundation brush. And let's take some of this product. Ooh, yeah. Look at how it melted into my skin. What? Wait, it doesn't even exist. Hold on. It looks like nothing. Oh, now of course in the inner part of my face, I have lighter spots. We all, wait, we all have that, okay? We all have different tones and shades on our faces. It's called a normal face. But wow, this looks really good. Uh, it's looking very natural. And we know that this is a hydrating product. Wow, it's looking like skin already. Wow, I have barely put anything on. Okay, now let me go on this side and I'm gonna put it onto my face right now. And let's blend this down. Wow, it looks so good. If you are a shade match, Honey, I'm sure 22 will still match me. It'll likely be my perfect color. Whereas this one, you know, I like to go darker because when I bring the whole look together, it's gonna be a look of whatever, okay? So you know I like to go a little darker. But see how it matches my hairline so well? I haven't blended it too much right now. I'm going to diffuse the outer parts of the face in order to make sure that there are no harsh lines. Remember, we don't want there to be any harsh lines. And this is a very light application. And see how I'm doing this in sections, right? We're not trying to wipe because then you're gonna be taking away the pigment. You're gonna be taking away the product. You want it to really set in place. So take your time and pounce it all over the face. What's nice is that the shape of this is a flat, fluffy brush. <laughs> That's just my own definition of it. And that way you're able to get it on and then blot it into place. It looks like I have nothing on. <laughs> okay, let's get some more. Let's see, I do wanna put some more on my, I didn't really focus on the nose earlier, so let's do the nose. If you want a more sheer application, feel free to take less product. I have some dark spots on my chin. It's even covering that, come on. This is an oldie but goodie. I forgot how good she was, hold on. Hi. Okay, so the skin is skinning. As you can see, you can still see my skin through all of it, but you know me, I'm still gonna do the whole highlight, powder, all that kind of stuff. I am gonna use Fenty products, I'll show you those. And then we're gonna do the lip at the end. Now we are gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer, and this is the color 430. Now this one I have not changed. It may, okay, it still looks good. It's nice and golden. 
and I don't feel like I need to change this shade since I changed the foundation shade. So if you recall, if you've been here for a while, then you saw the video where I talked about your summer shade versus your winter shade and then that impacting the way all of your other products will look. Well, in this case, I've used 430 for a while and it still looks good even with this new shade being 23 instead of shade 22. All right, I blended all of it in with the sponge and now we're going to set setting is important too. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I used the color Honey. I used to use a lighter shade, but we don't have to go so light, you know? So let's go with this and set the under eye and then we're going to powder our face. I know, I know. We're gonna use powder foundation. And this is actually my first time using this Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Face Eye Bronzer Highlight Palette. And I'm gonna use this to set my I'm mixing the last two colors because this one is really deep, but this one is really light. So let's do the two of these to set this. You can skip this part if you wanted to, but you know me. There's no, no makeup makeup look without a little bit of a contour, honey. Okay, and then to round out this no makeup makeup look, I still wanna put something in my eyes just so it's not so nude looking. And I'm gonna use the Sephora 14 Pro eyeshadow brush to bring these two colors from the Sunstalker palette right down to the bottom of my eye. All right, what a good eyebrow eyeliner and blush will do for the kid. We're still gonna do those with this no makeup makeup look, but the skin, if you know me, you will know that this is still giving skin. We can still see skin, it's gonna look healthy. So if you want something where you still feel like it's your skin, like skin after you finish doing your skincare, then this product is definitely good for you. And now the last touch is going to be, like I said, these Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stains. So I have two of them. One is Berry Banga, Berry Banger, but you know my accent, Berry Banga, honey. This is number 04. And let me actually swatch it for you. Oh! It's giving us more pigment than I thought. Okay, I was just thinking, I've never used this. I was thinking lip stain, so it would be like light. Oh no, baby. And this one is, what is it? Strawberry Sangria number three. Ooh, I might do this one today. Ooh, this one's looking a little more sheer. Ooh, should I do both of them, both of them? It's not gonna make it a no makeup makeup look though. These are bright colors, I do realize that. You can certainly do a more nude, nude for your skin tone, lip combination obviously, but these are pops of color. I'm gonna do Berry Banga because I haven't done a purple in a very long time. So let's put this all over the lip, honey. Now do you love a good purple lip plum? Comment and let me know. Okay, so this is definitely giving soft glam. <laughs> I told you it was a, a no makeup makeup look. Go ahead and scratch that. It's giving soft glam because I'm looking at myself like, hold on, this is really giving me more than just no makeup makeup. It's giving soft glam. We're not gonna do lashes today. Kudos to me. Give me some hand claps in the comments because you know it's a kudos to me that we're not doing lashes. It's a soft glam, but it's gonna look real elevated. You know what I'm saying? I'm contemplating whether or not I should put the red on the inside. The strawberry sangria. I'm gonna do it. Let's go ahead. Let's just do it. Okay, I had to look up the Palsicle lip stains because I'm like, why does it feel, it just feels so, I, I can't explain it, right? So it's a feather and bleed resistant formula that quenches lips immediately, that is very true. It features an oil and water innovation with squalene, so very hydrating. It's a lip stain that goes on glossy and leaves behind a soft tint. Wow, okay, so this is going to dry down at some point. But this is looking very juices and berries, what? What do we think about this skin, ladies and gentlemen? What do we think about this lip also? Comment and let me know. This went from no makeup makeup to soft glam, but listen, if you're like me, you're here for all of it. All right, links are all in the description box. And as always, I'm glad you're here watching my videos. I hope that this video was good for you, especially if you're a beginner at makeup. I hope that this was a helpful way for you to figure out what kind of foundation to use this summer that's going to not only keep your skin looking natural, but also give 
give you a tint, right? So the blurring skin tint, but then also make your skin look great. So links to all the products are below. And as always, glad you're here. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.